Now, you probably have already seen my previous videos on how you can set up multiple monitors on your MacBook. There are some specific docks that support multiple displays on a MacBook, and you can check out that playlist of videos right over here. I'll also link some of the docks in the description so you can grab those quickly. But if you purchased one of those docks already, and you want to learn how to utilize your setup to the fullest, well, you came to the right place. I'll link everything I talk about in this video in the description down below so you can grab the best prices on Amazon. This is my setup. It's where I practically live and breathe for almost 80% of my day. So I need to make sure I enjoy using my space and it gives me maximum efficiency to be productive. I currently use the Tobin One docking station as my dock of choice, but there's nothing wrong with using other docks I've made videos on, like the Satachi or the BenQ. But at the moment, this one gave me all of the necessary ports I need, and they are also very accessible from under my desk. You'll notice that I have a clean, minimal setup on the top of my desk, and everything I need to run my setup goes through this one cable. All of the docks that I made videos on allow you to run everything through one cable as well, so don't worry if you decide to opt for a different dock. I don't like wires all over the place, and you know what they say, cluttered space, cluttered mind. I recommend running a maximum of two external monitors. Anything more than that, it just gets busy, and I'm actually hoping to reduce this one to one super widescreen monitor down the road, because my MacBook is great at window management, and I'll let you know what I mean by that later in this video. But I have these two monitors hooked up and all of the cables run down the arm and under my desk. These arms are incredibly sturdy and I have had no issues with them keeping the position I adjust them to. All of my cables and peripherals run under my desk and I didn't have to sacrifice accessibility. In terms of cable management, I use these excellent cable spines. Because this is a standing desk from Odin Lake, I sometimes configure my desk to elevate during the day, and if you don't have any cable management in place, you'll definitely find that things get snagged and disconnected, not to mention it damages any wires you have. These spines keep all of my cables neat and organized and allow my desk to go up and down without any snags. I also purchased these cable management boxes to keep any power bars neat and tidy so that they don't look cluttered under my desk. I use cable hiders to run along the wall, but I haven't organized everything just yet. I might need some bigger hiders for the thicker cables, but I'll get to that at some point. Under my desk is where everything happens, and if this was what I saw every single day, I'd have some severe anxiety. This cable net is great for hiding all of the wires that connect to the dock, my monitors, my USB peripherals, all that kind of stuff, so that they're just not hanging from under the desk. There are also some power bars under there as well, and these power bar shelves are great to attach to your desk and keep your power bars hidden underneath without the need to drill any extra holes. In order to have enough USBs, power outlets, and an easily accessible SD card reader, I utilize these three units. First, we have the Anchor Power Station, which gives me three outlets on the back, two USB-C charging ports, and two USB-A charging ports. This is perfect for connecting my Apple Watch or any other peripherals that I need to charge throughout the day. The Power Cloud also gives me some outlets and USB charging ports, and both of these units are attached to the front edge of my desk, so I don't have to fumble around for ports. I've configured the Tobin One dock to also situate under my desk, close to the front, so I can access USB ports for my MacBook or use the SD card reader if I need to plug in more than one card. As an added touch, I attach these little compartments to keep any miscellaneous or loose items hidden away. Running multiple monitors on a Mac OS device is a dream, and when you have DisplayLink installed, you can use your dual display setup independently using the docking station of your choice. Mac OS has some neat features to help make your multi-monitor setup a breeze to use. First, I would highly recommend memorizing the command tab shortcut. 
This shortcut is your friend, especially when you need to switch between the multiple windows that are open on all of your desktops. Speaking of desktops, Mac OS allows you to have completely separate desktops for each monitor. This helps you stay organized when you have several different programs to switch between. So for example, on one monitor, I can have Final Cut on one desktop, all my videos in Finder on the next desktop, and Photoshop on the third desktop. Keep in mind that this is utilizing one monitor split into multiple different desktops that I can use specifically as an editing space. The other monitor can be used for productivity tools like mail, calendar, calculator, that sort of stuff. It just makes everything separate so you can easily get to what you need and create a productive workflow. One feature I love to use is the split windows for programs. So say for example, I want to split one monitor to show my music and maybe photos on one desktop, you can easily do this by holding down on the green dot on the left hand side of any program and splitting them between the left and the right side. If you have multiple windows on one desktop and you need to juggle between everything, my go-to gesture is the four finger swipe, which gives you an overview of everything you have on all of your monitors. You can adjust and learn more about these gestures by heading onto your settings and scrolling down to trackpad. Now that was just a brief overview of my desk setup and what I do to stay productive with my multi-monitor configuration. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this and let me know in the comments what your setup looks like. I would love to hear from you. My name is J.I., thank you for watching and thank you for kicking it with me.